Hey everyone, today I'm going to be bringing you a review of Julep in September. It's my birthday month! Well, technically, because September. And um, this month's theme is If You Dreams, If Your Dreams Do Not Scare You, They Aren't Big Enough by Ellen Johnson Sirleaf. And I love they got my city in the background. Always make me happy. Though they cut off the tip of the Brooklyn Bridge. That was stupid. Um, <laughs> so now this month, the box featured the new packaging for the lip... Um, for the nail polishes and so I wound up with like nine of these white boxes and three of these little sleeves what a waste of paper what's wrong with you julep I mean I understand that you know the shrink wrap plastic is also wasteful and bubble wrap is also wasteful but seriously nine paper boxes and three other boxes altogether 12 boxes all the garbage. What's the point of that? It's just so silly. And I'm sure that thin plastic wrap is much less waste than this thick paper. Is this even made of recycled paper? I can't even. And color treat? I'm sorry, but if anybody ever came up to me and asked me, what nail polish are you wearing? I would never say, I'm wearing Julep color treat. No way! That's stupid. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but that is stupid. I couldn't believe that when I got that email. So, Besides all that stupidity out of the way, this month's box had a wide range of colors for the fall. And by wide, I mean we had a little bit of summer in there, we had a little bit of shimmer in there, and then we had a lot of dark. So there was a little bit of something for everyone, because those, the whole dark nail polish trend is like appearing everywhere. And I don't mean just dark, like dark red, dark purple, the usual stuff we see around this type of, of year. I'm talking about those almost black shades when you put them close together you can't even really tell that they're not all black and I believe Chanel and another another brand a few brands a few higher end brands are having those dark purple dark red dark blue where they all look the same as their selling point so Julep got on that trend and I appreciate that and I'm glad they did I just personally don't like it now I did get the upgrade box, so if you're wondering about Boho Glam or Classic with Twist or It Girl or any of the other ones, I have it here, so stay tuned. I'm going to start with It Girl, which featured a bright yellow, which is good to transition you into the fall because, hey, leaves are changing color, they're turning yellow. Um, you have a nice little shimmer color, which is just dark enough to be good for fall, but it also really pairs, pairs well. Um, with lighter colors so I think that's why they paired these two together and then they included Josephine which is a darkened like green to gray which is just it's dark it's perfect for fall but it doesn't go to that black trend which I like now I have some swatches for you this is Katrina the yellow right there very true to the tube very non streaky perfect formula I couldn't complain about that and that's number 120 then we also have Candice, which is also It Girl, and it's got that shimmer. It's green and it reflects just a little bit of gold, which makes a perfect pairing with a yellow shade. and Or a gold shade, or a green shade, which I like that versatility. And then I feel like the odd one out in this trio, still pretty, but a little odd one out, is Josephine. And Josephine, like I said, she leans a little green, but she also leans a little blue. Um, but she doesn't look black, which is what I like. I like that when I look at this shade, I'm like, that's not black. Um, certain lightings, I'm just telling you, it looks green. It looks blue here, but I'm telling you, certain lightings, it looks green. Like there, it's starting to look a little green. I don't, I, I don't know. It's a tricky color. It's one of those tricky colors, but it's pretty. I just feel like it's out of place in that little trio. Um, no problem with that. No problem with, um, what you call it? No problem with Candace either. I didn't have an issue with any application, any streaker, streakiness. That was one coat, and I was very impressed. And then next up, we have... Um, let's do Bombshell. Now, Bombshell, we get a really nice color duo. And again, I, I don't feel like they pair well together, but on their own, they really are pretty. Um, we have Carmen, which is a duochrome, pink and gold and orange. Really beautiful. Reminds me of sunsets. So, it's perfect for that end of summer shade. You know, the sun is setting on the warmer weather, then the nights are going to start to... The sun is going to start setting a little sooner, so I like that there's that fire in there. And plus, leaves also change to red, so perfect. Then we have Daria, which is pretty much a blue-gray. Like, it has just a hint of blue in it. 
And there we go. And I think Daria was a perfect name for this because, as you recall, Daria was a little bit more dark, a little bit more gothic-y, and that's what I think of. Though they usually name them after celebrities, I can see this one being named after the cartoon character. Maybe that's just a little 90s nostalgia for me. But personally, I don't feel like they look fantastic together. I would use them separately. Um, the next one I'm going to do is Boho Glam, which... I'm going to be honest, when I first opened the box, I thought that these two were boho glam. That um, C Katrina and Candace were boho. Just because of the color theme. The green and the yellow. Very earthy kind of tones. This month but they no, went a little different. And they gave us two really not boho-y colors. I feel like these are more it girl colors. And we got this deep navy shade, which is Christy. And we got this kind of like burnt orange duochrome which reflects gold, and that's Tatiana. Now if you like this shade and you didn't pick it up in your box, or you happen to have the OPI Euro Central collection, you could have passed on this one because it's so very similar to a woman's prerogative. So, here we go. Very beautiful color. This is perfect for fall. Really perfect. Again, they really hit the nail on the head with the yellows, oranges, golds and greens to represent the changing leaf colors and fall really I really think they hit the nail on the head and the darker colors I got the whole city theme from and then we got the navy which is a very dark navy almost black navy it really does look black I mean you have to be real close up to it to really get that blue feel from it do they go together um I guess they could if you were going for that city look but um not not boho to me at all. I don't know if I'm alone on that, but that's how I felt. And last but not least, we have Classic with a Twist. And this is perfect for Classic with a Twist, honestly. And I love that we have the very dark color, the almost black color, paired with a very nude and neutral shade. Like, that really helps balance them out for me. So, um, the very purple shade is Padma. And if you watch Bravo, she is the one of the hosts on um, the chef, top chef shows, and she's a very classy woman, so I could see this being her color for the fall. Perfect, I'm perfect with naming, perfect with shade. And then we have Florence, which is a nice, taupey, beigey, creamy nude. Again, no problems with any application for any of these shades. Great collection overall. I'm sorry, I have a little bit of allergies right now end of summer allergies. So that finishes it up for the polishes. Now, if you got the product box, you would have received the Bare Face Cleansing Oil, the special this one. And, uh, and um, as for the, the, the Bare Face Cleansing Oil, I like that it's lightweight. It doesn't feel like I'm putting oil on my face. I like that the scent is just perfect enough to be subtle, but it's not overpowering. It doesn't make me feel like I'm slathering a scented product on my face. I liked that... Um, you rinse it off with water and it really cleansed my face, made my face feel soft without feeling like I just, like I said, put oil all over my face. It was not greasy at all. So oil is a little bit deceiving, but I'm glad that they made an oily product feel not so oily, but clean my face. And I like that it's a generous amount. And it goes with the other bottles they gave us in previous months. And then the mattifying face primer, I liked that um, it applies, it's a little bit smoky white. It's like, um, I still have swatches on my hand from another video, sorry. It's a little white, but then it goes completely clear and really mats the skin. I like that. It's a good primer. Um, it's similar. It reminded me a little bit of OC8 um, face primer and um, or mattifier, and that's like my favorite product. So it was good to see something like this. I wish there was more product, but so this, this that's is the, not too bad overall. Um, aside from the fact that I don't really like the the midnight color, like the midnight blue and the midnight purple. I thought this was really good in terms of matching the colors to the celebrities or the person. I felt that the shades were really on point for fall. A good range between on trend, on fall, like if you're just stereotypical fall, and also just a few bright colors to end out your summer smoothly, especially if you still want to get that little pop of yellow in there or those fiery duo chromes. Really good way to have that last hurrah with your pops of color. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm like almost mourning that the fact that pops of color are going away, but I'm also so excited that the darker colors are coming, but I'm really just, I can't get on this almost black nail polish trend. I'll try, but I can't. Maybe I can do the balancing out with the nude like they, they showed in Classic with a Twist. So if you got your box, did you like it? Did you hate it? Did you skip it? How did you feel about this month's box? I would love to see some comments. You guys know I like to see them. And thank you so much for watching, and follow me on Instagram. I'm Recycled Stardust, and enjoy the swatches.